Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Story of Sam, and welcome back to a brand new NBA 2K22 video today here on the channel. And today I'm going to be going over the best shooting big man build in 2K22. If you guys are brand new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And of course, guys, make sure to drop a like on today's video. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So first and foremost, we have our position. We are going to be a power forward. I know I said center in the title, but it's basically the same thing. This build is going to be playing center, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Even though it is listed as a power forward, this build is best at center. Because the only thing that changes when going to a power forward is you get a lot more badges. So definitely go with the power forward. Hand, I like to go right-handed on all my builds. It does not matter, of course. And jersey number, I picked eight for no reason. But let's get on to the actual pie charts. Now for the skill breakdown... I did this one in a previous video, but I think it is one of the best pie charts in the game this year, and it's honestly pretty surprising, but it is this one right here. It is the primary shooting secondary defense, one of the best pie charts in the entire game, especially for wing type players, spot up builds, someone that can shoot the ball and also defend. So I'm going to pick this one right here. And surprisingly enough, this pie chart gets more defensive badges than just a dual shooting and defensive pie chart. So pick this one right there. Primary primary shooting, secondary defense. Now for the physical profile, you guys know the drill. The best physical profile is definitely the first one. 71 speed and 68 acceleration are basically the only physicals that actually matter. I mean, these are okay, but 100% pick the first physical profile on the list, the speed one. Now on to setting our actual potentials, I'm going to go all the way down to defense and start upgrading that. I'm going to max out my interior, max out perimeter defense, max out lateral quickness, max out steel, block offensive rebound defensive rebound we get 23 defensive badges now the one downside of this build is you cannot get hall of fame defensive badges but i think having 23 defensive badges even if they are on gold is still going to be very good now next we're going to go up to shooting we're going to max out our mid-range shot our three-point shot and our free throw and leave it just like that next up we have finishing max out driving dunk max out driving layup max that close shot and also put our last 50 attributes on standing dunk right there and we have seven finishing badges and with our last two upgrades remaining just put them on post hook right there and this is the build right here we have all of our attributes placed we have seven finishing badges 19 shooting badges only one playmaking badge but we have 23 defensive badges now moving on to the body shape this does not matter at all so i mean we're a center build why not look more intimidating so burly is what i'm gonna pick right here next Next up, we have the height. Now, I definitely could go down to 6'8", but at that point, it's kind of like you're not really a center build. You're not going to be playing the big man spot at 6'8". 6'8 might just be a little bit too small, so I feel like sticking it at 6'9", the standard height is going to be our best bet. Going up to 6'10", we're just too slow. We lose a lot of perimeter defense and lateral quickness, so definitely go with 6'9 right here. But if you think you're really good at defense and you can defend bigger guys with a 6'8", definitely go for that. But in my opinion, 6'9 is a little bit better. Next up, we have the weight. I'm actually going to minimize the weight right here just because we get a ton of speed back. Look at our speed. That's 77 speed, 76 acceleration. Now, we do lose a lot of interior defense, but I still think 70 is pretty good. And we do gain plus 4 perimeter defense and plus 4 lateral quickness. So, I do think minimizing the weight is worth it right here. And now under the wingspan, I'm going to max out the wingspan. On any defensive build, maxing out the wingspan is definitely your best bet. We get plus 5 defensive rebound, plus 4 offensive rebound, plus 8 to our block. Block. that is absolutely amazing and we also get plus two to our steal now we do lose minus three mid-range and minus three three-pointer but shooting in 2k22 current gen is already extremely easy you are going to be able to shoot with this build just fine either way so i think maxing out the wingspan right here at 91 inches is the best way to go and now we have our three takeover options we have rim protecting takeover glass cleaning takeover and spot up shooter takeover now i'm gonna immediately eliminate spot up takeover just because this build name is gonna be a glass glass cleaner and I think having a build name that's a glass cleaner the defender doesn't always know you can actually shoot the ball so if you do have spot up shooter takeover they're going to immediately know that you are a shooting big man which I don't like and also rim protecting takeover only works on defense and it is a lot harder to get than glass take glass cleaning takeover is just the best takeover in the game for big man so I'm going to select that one right there and as you can see we have made the glass cleaner build shades of Jaron Jackson Jr. Kenyon Martin and John Collins I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this build 
at the park it is definitely one of the best builds in the game it's really versatile again it's pretty quick even though you are six foot nine it can defend centers it can shoot the ball really well so overall it is a really well-rounded build and i think everybody that wants to be a center build that can also shoot should make this glass cleaner right here and now with our seven finishing badges i'm going to put on fearless finisher right here it's basically the same thing as relentless finisher from 2k20 so definitely one of the best badges in the game also gold lob city finisher is going to be a great badge for us this build is going to be catching a lot of alley -oops off screens and lob city finisher is always one of the best badges in the entire game and with our last finishing badge upgrade right here i'm going to put on bronze post riser because why not post riser is always one of the best badges in the game and we could be getting a decent amount of post rising dunks and now onto our shooting badges i'm going to put on hall of fame limitless spot up this badge might be a little broken right now but mike wang did say they're going to fix this badge and make it actually work properly so i would definitely put on limitless spot up also hot zone hunter one of the best badges in the game but make sure you actually have your hot zones first because obviously if you have this badge on and you have no hot zones it will be basically useless also the best shooting badge in the entire game right now is sniper put that on hall of fame no questions asked also we are a spot up build so why not put on catch and shoot right there and with our last three badge upgrades left i'm actually going to put on gold green machine right there it's been in the game for a while i really do like green machine especially if you shoot the ball a decent amount moving on to our one playmaking badge might as well put on pluckable on right because you get ripped a ton in this game none of these other badges are really going to help us out that much but i mean bronze on pluckable could do a little bit of work and lastly we have our 23 defensive badges only gold badges though so i'm going to throw on gold clamps gold interceptor gold intimidator gold brick wall i'm also going to put on gold rebound chaser gold rim protector also i really do think gold chase on artists could be very good as well and with our last two defensive badge upgrades i'm going to put on silver box right there i think these are all really good defensive badges you can flip these around however you want because obviously it is your opinion but i think these are a good baseline for defensive badges anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video on the best glass cleaner build in nba 2k22 current gen the best power forward slash center build in the game it's listed as a power forward but it's basically a center build guys this build is going to be playing center that's why I call it a center build. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And of course, guys, make sure to drop a like on today's video. That would be great. And if you guys do want to watch more of my NBA 2K videos, I'm going to leave an end screen right when this video finishes to two of my previous uploads that I think you guys would really, really enjoy. So have a great rest of your day, guys. It's been Story of Sam, and I'm out. Peace.